What is up everyone? Night Fury here from Tales of the Tome, back at it again with another episode of Pokemon Academy Life. We're gonna go straight into it from the last episode. No questions asked. Probably will skip over a bunch of stuff though. So let's get right into it. Anyway, training. How do? You must criticize your Pokemon. Wait, what? Criticize? I mean, Ghost Light's my little buddy. I'm not sure w I want to do that. Criticize might be a bit of a harsh word, but Bruno's right. You need to let your Pokemon know when you're do they're doing poorly and when they're doing well. Otherwise, they'll just keep doing the same thing over and over again, never gain any experience. But, I mean, I've never done that before. I mean, I even let my Pikachu back home on the counter. What's your dream, Hiccup? Fat. Um, to become a champion like you, sir. Well, for your sake, I hope you end up a much better one than me. But let me tell you something about Pokemon. They're smart. Real smart. Smarter than it. Even the professors that study them know. But they need humans to tell, do anything. But they need humans to do anything without those smarts. Human and Pokemon are a perfect pair. One's got power. The other knows how to use it. Er, not that power, for power's sake is a good thing, but that's a different lecture. Well, what should I do then, sir? If your Pokemon misses a move, tell them why. If they're too slow to react, encourage them to speed up. If they don't take your foe seriously, tell them off. Don't let your Pokemon give you anything less than what you know they're capable of. How will I know what they're capable of, though? Some of that you'll just have to study and learn through experience. Otherwise, your top elective classes should give you an idea of what your Pokemon are capable of. I.e. the level cap. <clears throat> you mean, your electives will increase your maximum power the Pokemon you can attain. Your battles, such as in this gym, will increase their actual power. I see. I'm jumping between electives, but if I focus really hard on one elective, could I make my Pokemon super strong right away? No, you'd still need to actually train your Pokemon up through battle. There's not much you can do to speed that up. Besides waiting for time to pass, your classmates will get strong over time, so they'll be a more challenging opponents who are rewarded you more greatly if you try to beat them. I see. Wait, what happens if I train a Pokemon in battle before I've taken enough elective to know what it's capable of? If you've taken the elective after, that's fine. You and your Pokemon will both experience and remember the experience you can use later. Okay. One more thing. You will learn more from losing than from winning. But if you want to maintain your classmates' respect, as well as your Pokemon's, don't purposefully take a dive. Your battles in this class aren't graded, but we'll notice if you're losing too much. Not that that should be a concern for you. If you continue as you are. Anyway, your opponent for today will be this young man. I believe you're acquainted. Hmm. Oh, hey, Silver. Uh, thanks for standing up for me back there. Hmm. Did you mean what you said? Oh, sorry. Lined into Batman. Huh? About getting on the battle team. No matter what? Yeah, it'll happen for me in Shockjaw. And if you want it for you too. Hmm. Prove it. Battle time. It's a poison type. Done it. Better not use a poison attack. Oh, whoa. Uh, let's back up a bit there. Apparently, you can use the back button to reverse attacks. Oh, look at that! I won! Gain 10 experience. The experience has been stored for later. And that's because my level cap isn't high enough for it to, you know, level up my Pokemon. Damn it. I let you down, Scroopy. I'm sorry. That was a good battle. Don't beat yourself up over it. Lance is right. 
Power's all that matters in this world. What? <laughs> but power isn't what he thinks it is. Show me more of yours, Hiccup. Yay! Points for everybody. Where am I at with everyone anyway? Okay. Just gotta get three more points and then I can probably unlock a scene. Okay. All right, now that we're at Professor Oak's lab, Bianca's here and says, this guy from Black and White 2, he replaced, um, oh, frick, what was his name? The electric gym leader from X and Y. I, for some reason, can't remember his name in the anime, but they called him Citron in the Japanese dub. Anyway, so he's not in the game anymore, but Nate is. Alright, skip all this. Mm -hmm. Let's just get over to Professor Oak. Ah, Hiccup! Good, you're here! Hey, Sam. Glad we're finally getting to talk. Now, what do you want to talk about? Let me answer that question with a question, lad. What do you think we have to talk about? My place in this academy. Yes, I can imagine that you would think it would be necessary for us to discuss this. Sam, please, just give me a straight answer. Why am I here? Why didn't you tell me you'd be here? I'll give you an answer, Hiccup Fett, but you're going to have to work for it. <sighs> yeah, alright. Classic Samuel Oak move right there. You never just hand anything over, do you? No, no, I don't. Okay, here are the facts. I'm in Kobukan Academy, and you teach here. You didn't tell me, even though you would have had plenty of time to do so. So you didn't want me to know. However, you knew how much getting into Kobukan Academy meant to me. And you knew that if I knew you were working here, I'd ask for your help getting in. So you didn't want me to ask for your help. That means you either didn't want to help me, or... You didn't want me to ask for help. Oh, duh! Now I get it. He didn't want me to ask for your help getting in because you'd have had to choose between recommending Blue or me. Completely wrong, actually. What? Lad, I've never had any intention of recommending my grandson to this school. What? But wh why not? Hmm. <clears throat> Do your best to answer that question, then I'll give you my answer. This again. Well, you figured he could get into the school without your help, and you wanted to give him confidence. Let him know that he doesn't need to rely on your name. Once again, entirely incorrect. Then, why? Why don't you try to answer that, then just answer the question, Sam. Well, I do not believe my grandson deserves his spot in this school. What? He is arrogant, cruel, and utterly refuses to learn, even from his betters. Further, though I've tried, I barely have a relationship with the boy. He calls me on holidays, holidays where I'm expected to send him money, and that's it. His skill at training Pokemon is undeniable, but that does not excuse his callous disregard for anyone but himself. Unfortunately, I know all too well where he got those traits from. I was not the best father to his father, but even so. In any case, lad, Blue was not a consideration in my silence on this matter. Then, you didn't tell me because you were going to recommend me anyway? There we go! But Sam, I spent so much time writing those letters and applying and worrying about whether I'd get in. Well, if I'd told you that I was going to re recommend you, perhaps you wouldn't have tried so hard. In any case, you're 18, out of school, and unemployed. I can't imagine that wasted time would have been put to good use. Did I make you miss a daily run or two? Yes, actually. Hardly something worth caring about at this junction, I imagine. <sighs> you could be a bit more empathetic. 
Not with how limited my time is. Speaking of, you now have enough evidence, I believe, to answer your first question. Why are you here? Think it through. I'm here because you recommended me, but wait. Kobukon is prepared to teach complete newbie to Pokemon training, but it still demands that you have high grades when it comes to math, science, literature, and a life outside school too. I don't. There's no way I could have gotten in with just your recommendation. You forced me in somehow. Yes, and the how is not something that will be relevant, so you can end your train of thought there. Then why? Never mind, you'll just tell me to figure it out. True? So, there had to be some reason you wanted me here at the school. If it's not grades, not extracurriculars, what do I have? Oh, it's my memory, right? Being able to memorize every Pokemon and all their stats and moves and stuff? No, it's related, but most of the professors at this school have done that. Further, it's not... It's nothing that anyone with a Pokedex couldn't do. Of course, your aptitude at memorization of all things is rather impressive. Most people have to use the Pokedex for that. So having it all memorized is convenient, though I seem to recall that wasn't your choice. Yeah, I really wanted a Pokedex, but neither my mom and I were trainers, so it didn't seem worth it to drop money on it. Well, I take your memorization as proof my decision not to give you a Pokedex was the right one. Wait, you didn't give me a Pokedex on purpose? Now, lad, next guess. <sighs> oh, it's my Pokemon thing, isn't it? Like the way they're calm around me. Ah, so you have picked up on that. Well, that's partially correct, but it's a bit more of a symptom of a larger reason. This conversation could have been an email. Well, lad... Please, Sam, I get that you're smart. Everyone else does, too. You're literally world famous for it. Please just tell me. Very well. You are aware that the focus of my research has been Pokemon and human relationships, yes? Well, you represent a breakthrough. Something that could further the bonds between Pokemon and human more than ever before. Lad, I believe you possess a special ability. Huh? Like a Pokemon ability? Very much like that, yes. My colleague in Sinnoh has, something interest has some interesting theories about the commonalities of human and Pokemon ancestry, incidentally, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, I'm, am I taking crazy pills or... Humans can't have abilities, that's just not a thing, right? I mean, am I wrong? The answer to that question has been a subject of my research for almost two decades. Certainly, there are many documented cases of human beings with psychic powers. Some have been known to talk to Pokemon, or heal their injuries with a touch. Others demonstrate extreme physical strength beyond the norm, and others have brain power that excels our understanding of anatomy. The answer I'm arriving at is, well, yes, Hiccup. Hiccup, people and Pokemon like you. Instantly. From the moment they lock eyes with you, they want to know you. I call this ability Frenergy. Isn't that just normal? It's hard to say. In my reclusive life as an academic, then researcher, I can't certainly say people don't tend to initiate conversations with me, but that could easily be my own failing. I'm sorry, Professor, I don't think you're right about this. I don't I don't have some kind of superpower, some kind of aura. I just get to people yeah, I just get people to introduce themselves and ask their name. It's really that simple. Lad, the difference between you and other people is far greater than can be explained by simple extroversion. No, I maintain my hypothesis is correct, and unless the data proves me wrong, I intend to maintain it. The data? What do you... That's why! You brought me here just to test your theory! Not because I, anything I can do or what I deserve... Just because you wanted to prove yourself right. Uh, well, yes. I don't understand why you upset with me. Why am I... I'm upset because... Mm -hmm. Whoa there, slow down. You need to be patient with Sam. I'm upset, Sam, because it sounds like you don't think I deserve to be here. 
that you just brought me here so you could answer your own personal questions. I don't know if you deserve to be here, and neither do you. No one does until you graduate or fail. Yeah, alright, you're right. Of course, of course. Well, how can I keep help you in your research then? Graduate! In four days, you've been introduced to more people than you knew in your entire life in Pallet Town. If my hypothesis is correct, by the time you graduate, you should have a great many friends and a team of strong, loyal Pokemon. Sam, if you're right, does that mean I'm mind-controlling people to like me? I thought you might be concerned about that, so I made sure to discover the answer to that before there was ever the chance I'd tell you about my theory. No, lad, far from it. Rather, your true feelings become apparent to anyone you talk with. It's more than wearing your heart on your sleeve, it's giving your heart to another. People in Pokemon subconsciously know how you're feeling and even what you're thinking to a certain degree. And because of that, they know you're just a friendly boy that's safe to be around. In any case, I hypothesize this is an ability that would be actively detrimental in the hands of anyone who wasn't as kind as you, and, an, and useless to anyone who wasn't as outgoing. I repeat, this is not mind control, nor does it make people like you. It just means your intentions won't be misunderstood. And when you tell the truth, people believe it. In a world where everyone wants something out of someone else, and no one says what they mean, being able to know the intentions of the person you're talking to is reassuring. Wow, so my Pokemon don't freak out because they know I'm not going to try and control them, or abuse them, or be a jerk, basically. That's my theory, based on that special Pikachu I gave you, and how I've seen wild Pokemon interact with you, the effect seems especially pronounced on Pokemon. What if... Like, what if I were to lie to someone then? Would they believe me then too? Lad, when was the last time you lied to anyone? About anything? Fair enough. Don't worry about things that won't happen. Though if you must, I theorize that people are far more likely to disbelieve your lies. I guess... It still feels kind of uncomfortable, though, like I'm getting an unfair advantage in life. Then feel free to put it out of your mind. Ignore my ramblings, assume you're a bog-standard student, and just do your best at this school that you got into fairly and squarely. Can't really do that now. Well, there you have it, then. Now, I really must be getting back to work. Wait! Yes, lad? Not everyone likes me. I met a couple of trainers on my first day here. I told them about my circumstances here, and they pretty clearly lost interest. But that's not all. Oh. Yeah, there's a girl in one of my elective classes. Sabrina. She told me to stay away from her. Hmm, that makes sense. I'm familiar with her. The Esper, yes? I believe that her situation is unique. She probably doesn't even notice your own subtle empathic ability given how much stronger her own telepathy is. Okay, well, that's one explanation, but there's another person. There's Lance. Uh, Mr. Lance, I guess? He got seriously angry at me. Oh, now I'm sure that's not true. Lance is stern and stubborn, but I'm sure it's far from his ability to dislike a promising young student such as yourself. Yes, Old Man Oak wasn't there for the battle exhibition then. Well, there's one more. Blue. He hates me. Always has. My grandson is... a statistical anomaly. Well within the margin of error. And if I'm to prove my hypothesis of 18 years correct, not worth considering. Hmm. I feel kind of bad for Blue whenever I hear his grandfather talk about him. But it's not like he doesn't deserve it. Well, I guess I've got one more question then. How am I going to pay for Cobacon? My first tuition payment is due in six months. Uh, to be honest, lad, I didn't think of that. What? She...
And there's our dilemma. The ever ever troubling problems of every college graduate. Paying for school. Is what Professor Oaks said really true? Do I really have some sort of ability? Sharon had said I had inoffensive charisma. Is that what he meant? And is there some way I can use it to not get kicked out of Kobukon in six months? Can I somehow con everyone into just giving me their money? No, they just... No, they'd never do that. Would they? Phew, I'm beat. I know I used to complain a lot about literally Little Root High, but I kind of miss it now. That was high school, Brandon. Things are meant to be a little harder in university. This is way more than just a little harder. This is like jumping from the kiddie pool into the middle of the ocean. <laughs> so, how are classes treating you, Hiccup? Ready to crack yet? I'ma say... no. Pfft, are you kidding me? Come on, the last person I battled had a trubbish. A trubbish. And the battle quizzes? Someone who's never seen a Pokemon could before could do those. Wow, Hiccup. I had no idea you were that smart. You serious? Oh yes, he's quite serious. I can vouch for him. His ability to memorize is impressive. I've seen him diligently studying too. His own motivation is in no small part. Motivates me. Oh, Hiccup. I didn't realize that you were so studious. I'm quite glad. Wow, I'm impressed. I never took you for a bookworm pickup. Yes. Well, what can I say? I just do it all. Just don't ask me anything that involves Pokemon, please. Or doesn't involve Pokemon. Th let's not get too ahead of ourselves, Skippy. Alright, gonna have a battle with Blue. Here we are again. Wonder if they're gonna let us in after what happened last time. I had to wait around this entire time just for you to get changed. Let's get a move on. Hurry up and ask them to let us use the arena already. Why me? This was your idea. The, the captain said I wasn't allowed to show my face here until battle team sign-ups start. Janine banned you from the battle hall? Ha <laughs> Serves you right. Getting all up in her face like that. Just shut up and ask already. But wait, this means we can't have our battle if you're not allowed in here. Ah, oh, that's a damn shame. I'm willing to make an exception. Janine, big fan of your work. Saw the battle on Wednesday. They're very impressive. Flattery won't get you onto the team any more than this guy's self-aggrandizement will. Noted. Hey, how does your Venomoth know five moves? Secret Shinobi technique. Don't worry about it. Sure. All right. So... You're, are you battle team guys doing anything right now? No, it's just me and a couple of last year's graduates. And I heard you what you were talking about. I'm allowing you to an arena for your battle. Really? Just like that? But I thought Snotlot was banned from the battle hall. He is, but you're not. It wouldn't be fair to kick you out because of something you didn't do. Hey, you're pretty nice. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, we're on a schedule. Come on in, and we'll get you two started right away. Nice try! I'm trying to get out of this. Unfortunately for you, there's no weaseling out of this one. Now get in here and take your beating like a man! You sure are running your mouth a lot for someone that already lost to me before. I told you, I wasn't serious that time. And I'll prove it to you with this battle! Oh, let's just get this over with. About time he got serious. I'm not holding back. Mm. Hey, Hilbert, you showed up. Your grasp of the obvious is as ironclad as ever. Well, I'm happy you're here, even if you're not. Just beat him. There's no need for all this sentiment. That's the plan. You nervous? Hey, Leaf. Thanks again for, you know... Oh, believe me, I want to see his stupid mouth shut up as much as you do. I've never seen a worse case of big fish, small pond syndrome. So, you got any helpful tips for before I dive in? Uh, yeah, no. You don't need useful tips. 
helpful tips. If you can't beat him now, you'll never beat him. And since you already did, this is in the bag. I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines and streaming the whole thing to me. Now wipe that stupid look off his face and show him what you got. Well, all right then, here goes nothing. Ready for a trip to the dumpster? Yeah, I got your ticket with a new name. Yeah, I've got your name on the ticket right here. Don't get so cocky. I've got a little trick up my sleeve this time. Okay. Yeah, so do I. I'll just up my evasion a bit since you can't actually hit me. Oh, right. Level 18? Are you freaking kidding me? You jerk. I'll try this. Nope, guess not. Uh, shock jaw. Let's go. Mm. Mm. No, you're not getting away that easily. Yes, paralysis. Eat it, nerd. Maybe if I do... Come on... Oh, is it... Right, it's a normal type. Frick. Come on, hit him! Come on, come on! No! I don't think I have anything else that can... kill this thing. What the hell? You had six Pokemon! You had a level 18 Pidgeotto! You used someone else's Pokemon. You had a Pokemon you've been training for battle for 15 years! That was cheating, asshole! Look who is talking, Snarlout! The only reason you won is because you've brought in an overpowered Pidgeotto to fight with a bunch of level 5s. Give me a break! You had a team three times larger than mine! You know I wouldn't have had a chance against your waves of filler without my Pidgeotto. They're not filler, they're my friend's friends, and the only thing they did was even the odds. You were trying to trick me. I at least knew you were going to pull something. Borrowing Pokemon at least gave me a chance. Huh, you don't have a chance. Never have, never will. If I'd known which Pokemon he had, I could have beat him. Alright, moving on. No one's happy that I lost. Lance is here. He still doesn't like me. They kick him out. Uh, what's going on? It's just been... You're cool with being pushed to reps. What? Oh, right. She's asking about becoming part of the battle team. As long as it's by you, then yes. 
as I'm willing to prove in battle over and over. Borrow some stronger Pokemon. Your current Pokemon just won't cut it. Blah, blah, blah. Try us for the battle team on the 19th. So in 10 days. Okay. Which means probably won't be happening in the next release, which covers only the second week. Sweet. All right, I've finally got some time to myself. I can finally go out and train my Pokemon. Or maybe just hang out with some friends. Whatever the case, I just want to put this Frenergy stuff out of my head. I can't stop thinking about it. Frenergy? Ah, oh, shit! No! Sabrina, stop! Don't read my mind! I can't help it. You know this. Yeah. Right. I guess. I apologize. I shouldn't have said anything. I simply thought for a moment that you might... No, never mind. No, I know, I just... I mean, that's really personal. Yes, I apologize. I mean, I know it's not your fault, but... Ah, oh, crap, what do I do now? No one else was supposed to know. You want me to keep it a secret? Please! Your secret is safe with my indifference. Uh, not sure how I should feel about that. Um, how can she be indifferent about it? I've got a massive secret I'm hiding from everyone. As do all. Whoa, what? What the hell? I didn't think that. Did she just speak directly into my mind? Yes. Hey, could you cut that out? You're like 50 feet away and still walking. This isn't how you're supposed to have a conversation. <sighs> well, now there's three people. Old Man Oak, Sabrina, and myself. What a way to start my free day. Alright, so. At this point in the game, we're able to uh, hang out with people and try to um, upgrade our relationships with them, I guess. Leave campus. I should probably get a bit more used to the campus before I head out alone. Okay, I thought that was... I'd never tried that before, so I was like, is this an option I can do? Okay. So, I'm going to rank up Sabrina's relationship really quick. And then I'll end the episode. Yes, I want to go find Sabrina. Sabrina, we need to talk. Did she hear me? Yes, I'm waiting for you to tell me what you want to talk about. Wait, don't you know? Yes, but I'm pretending to be ignorant. It comforts most people. Jeez. Look, you said you didn't want me trying to help you. And you also said that I didn't need to worry about you telling people about Frenergy. That is correct, yes. Well, why? To which part? Both. But I figure the first one is more sensitive topic, so I guess you can answer the second one first. You presume to have access to my time. Are you busy? N no. Then yeah, I presume the hell out of my access to your time. Or whatever you said. Hmm. Amusing. My lack of desire to expose your secret is very simple. I don't have any reason to. Doing so would be a malicious act, and you have done nothing wrong to me. Uh, even the thought I had when we first met? The, uh, inappropriate one. I've been hearing thoughts far worse than that since I was far too young to handle them. It's a reprieve in some ways to hear that sort of thought from someone who is not utterly detestable to the eye. Not utterly detestable to the eye. Gotta put that one in my book of compliments. Besides, even if I did intend to act with malice towards you, I believe exposing your power is a bridge too far. What do you mean? I'm aware of the effect I have on people. No, not that effect. The effect of fear. They feel discomfort around me, and I cannot blame them. Secrets, fantasies, shadows, 
The very core of people's identities are laid bare to me the moment they become aware of my power. Yeah, I guess most people can't help thinking of something the moment they realize they shouldn't think of it. I've resigned myself to this fate of isolation to the point I now volunteer the truth of my power. I used to attempt to hide it in vain. No more. I will live as myself amongst others, or live as myself by myself. I will discard my cares of any other's thoughts. Destiny burdens me too much to ask me to wear a mask. So you really have given up. Entirely. Man, that's a lot of shit. I beg your pardon? You haven't given up. Not yet. And there are three ways I can tell, even without reading your mind. Do share your theory with me, but speak carefully. Telepathy is only one of my many psychic skills, and amongst my least invasive. The first is that you're telling me all this. When you told me about your powers, and now you've been apologetic. You know what an apology is, right? It's asking someone to overlook something you've done wrong. Now you wouldn't have done anything wrong, but the fact that you meant to over that you want me to overlook something means you care about what I think, literally. The second thing is that you're here in Kobukon. It's not easy to get in, and correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think anyone forced you to come here. Am I right? You're correct. I was not forced to come here. Cool. Gobukon's a school with tons of busy people with strong ambitions and goals and very active minds, all crammed into a single campus. You probably dorm with four other girls, right? I don't know how your power works exactly, but I have to imagine being around a lot of people doesn't make things any quieter. And why do you think that? You're here, in the back corner of the library, alone. Am I right? Yes. Nice! What's the third thing, then? Well, it's, uh... You're beautiful! I don't see how that's relevant to anything. Well, I might be totally off base here, but... Your hair is really shiny and straight, so... You gotta be using some kind of special shampoo. And you comb it every day, too, right? Hair that long, probably multiple times a day. Your posture is, like, incredible. I've never seen someone with a straighter back. And, well, your outfit is... Oh, very flattering. Uh, and you know it. You know what people think when they see you. It's typical of a man to believe I adorn myself for his pleasure. I don't think it's for me. I think you heard people mentally needle and point out tiny flaws in your appearance over and over until you eliminated them. Even if that's true, how would that indicate that I haven't fully discarded the thoughts and opinions of others? Well, you heard people's thoughts and changed yourself. Unless I meant to believe that you were born this way. You are not entirely incorrect. Well, tell me more. Espers are not uncommon. Not as uncommon as you would think in any case. There are communities of espers that live together in every region. Sometimes they even manage to develop a culture and society that can exist among euthymics. Did I say that right? A euthymic is what espers call non-espers. But I could not live in one of those communities. Espers live together in peace, taking advantage of their abilities without suffering the downsides as I do. For the ma vast majority of espers, their powers are voluntary. Mine are not. I do not believe they ever will be. When I'm forced to read the mind of an esper, reading the mind of another, who was possibly reading another, it was an excruciating feedback loop. Debilitating headaches followed. I cannot be around them. Oh, wow, like when Roxanne blasted out our ears during orientation. Yes, constantly. So I saw a place in the euthymic world, 
and still seek it now as you have proven. As much as I may try to deny it or tell myself that I've given up caring. Maybe you should try not immediately telling people that you read minds. It might be easier to fit in. I have tried that. My precious friend felt betrayed. She hated me then. And I could feel her thoughts turn from love to poison. No, if I am to imbibe poison, then I will prepare the chalice for myself at a time of my choosing. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear about your friend. But you can't just give... You can't give up just because one person reacted negatively. Would you risk letting a single one of your friends know of your... Frenergy? I know it's not mind control. It's a conduit for empathy at its strongest. But my power is not mind control. Nor is it soul eating, witchcraft, or evil. And yet it has been described as such by many. Hmm. Was it described as that out loud, or did you get that from people's minds? None have ever chosen to state those sorts of true feelings to my face. I don't see what difference it makes, though. I think it makes a huge difference, actually. Uh oh. Yeah, I mean, people have all kinds of intrusive thoughts, you know. You know more than anyone that people can't help but think of the worst things at the worst possible times when they're around you. But if they choose not to say it, then they're making a choice to be better than their instincts. Sure, maybe they're just trying to not make you angry or whatever. But I bet if that was the case, you would know what their intentions were too, right? Are you trying to convince me that there is something governing people's actions other than their thoughts? Pity. I thought this conversation was going somewhere. People aren't machines, Sabrina. You can't just read the code from their heads and know exactly what they're going to do. Sometimes even if they're thinking one thing, they're going to do the exact opposite. I challenge you to name one situation in which that's the case. Well, you're pretty difficult to talk to, right? As you have constantly been thinking, yes. I'm still here, aren't I? Now that is strange. Why? Because I want to help you. And I have no idea how, and I don't even know where to begin. And I might not ever be able to help you with your powers. But I can at least be your friend. We can be weird power buddies. Our powers are in no way comparable. Uh-huh. Fine. Sweet. So, no, I will not help you cheat on tests. No, I will not help you win at cards. No, I will not. You want me to send you the lyrics to songs while you're doing karaoke so you can pretend to have memorized them? Yep. A person with my powers could be ruling nations or upending dynasties. And you want me to use my powers to make you seem better at karaoke. Be honest with me. What have you actually used your powers for? On purpose. Because it sounds like you've mostly been trying to avoid them. I used them to win at Blackjack once. I needed some money shortly after I moved to Inspira. I wasn't allowed to keep my winnings, though. Not because I read the dealer's mind, but because I was under 21 and shouldn't have been in the casino in the first place. Jeez, did you get arrested? No, the dealer was an esper, actually. He said he wouldn't turn me in as long as I became his protege. Eventually, he got me a job at the same casino, which is where this particular outfit comes from. He's a bombastic and showy and ridiculous, not to mention a weak esper, but he does give me hope that I life amongst the euthymix is possible. Well, see... That one time you used your powers instead of trying to hide from their effects turned out fine. We'll see. The future has yet to arrive. I would ask you two questions, which I have not been able to figure out even as I search your mind. Oh sure, what is it? When you were stating those three facts which proved to you that I still hold on to the vain hope of normalcy, 
I could never see what your next argument would be until you were already saying it. How? Oh, that! Yeah, I was just improvising like crazy there. I pretty much only came up... <coughs> <coughs> I pretty much only came up with each argument after I had already started saying it. So, when you said you had three things, it might have been more accurate to say that I was going to figure out three things. Remarkable. Your mind works fast, considering how empty it is. I'll try not to take that offensively, but I've got enough wrinkles in the old think meat to get offended. But not for long. What's your second question? Why is that song about the baby Sharpedo playing in your head just over and over? Oh, yeah, I uh, heard it like a week or two ago. So it'll probably be another month or so before it leaves. If we were to spend more time my time together could you not perhaps get some classical piano stuck in your head something that fades into the background oh gee whatever song could you possibly mean anyway i mean i could try wait we're going to be spending more time together you said that you would be my friend i'm given to understand friends hang out we sure do. Give me some time to figure out where we should go, all right? Very well. It is all right, then. If I contact you in the future? Through your mind. If you think of me, I will know. Kind of scary to hear that, but sure. And her contact info is... Uh, her mind? Yeah, let's go with that. Um. <clears throat> Thank you, my friend. Your heart shifts as you feel your relationship with Sabrina evolve from classmate to friend. Hanging out with Sabrina will now convey a tiny amount of XP to psychic and ghost Pokemon in your party. Sweet! Gonna need that, because Red might not be focusing on one particular type, but I am. So, that's pretty much the end of the demo here. Uh, we get to text people at the end of the day. Um, but I'm going to end the episode here so that we can get ready for when they release the next update, which will be entirely new territory that I've never seen before, so I'm super excited for it. So be on the lookout for that. Remember to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out. Leave a comment um, if you want. I love comments. I thrive off of them. Unless they're stupid. I don't like those. Which probably means you're just... Anyway. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk with you in the next video. And that, as they say, is that.